It was a rare shark attack, and it's prompted beach officials to ramp up patrols all across Queens and Long Island. News Force Greg Sergal is at Jones Beach with the plan to keep everybody safe for the rest of the summer. Green flags today confirm that swimming was allowed at Jones Beach a day after possible shark sightings had kept swimmers out of the water. I'm not going to go in today. Emilia Camparisi stayed on shore voluntarily today despite the all clear from the air. So far today, um, it had been pretty calm. Today's drone images very different from Tuesday's, when State Park Police Lieutenant Alex Goodman located large schools of bait fish off Jones Beach and possible sharks feeding nearby. We weren't 100% sure they were sharks, but we couldn't, you know, we had to exercise caution. New York's regional parks director says that caution was heightened by Monday's shark attack at Rockaway Beach. 65-year-old Tatiana Koltunyuk remains hospitalized after losing 20 pounds of flesh in the first unprovoked shark bite in New York City since 1953. It's a large animal that's very different than all of the bites that we've seen. This Florida shark researcher says it may have been a tiger shark or even a juvenile great white that attacked Coltunyuk. Today, her family issued a statement saying our mother is grateful to be alive and we're thankful to the lifeguards, emergency response workers and the team at Jamaica Hospital. Today, drones from the FDNY and NYPD joined the Shark Watch. The flights over Rockaway Beach cleared that area for swimming for the first time since Monday's attack. And the drone flights and other shark patrols will continue, officials say, for the rest of the swimming season. We're scanning the waters for sharks. And if we see any, we will close the beaches. Again, no shark sightings today at Rockaway Beach or here at Jones Beach. And officials here say they're now conducting a study to determine if shark concerns are impacting the size of the summer crowds visiting the beach. At Jones Beach, Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.